A report released this month by the Center for Social Change at the University of Johannesburg and the Human Sciences Research Council indicates that fear of COVID-19 vaccine side effects and doubts about its effectiveness are the most significant driving forces behind vaccine hesitancy in South Africa. Dr. Ernest Dakor, a globally recognized expert in health systems design and implementation with experience in more than 20 countries across Africa and Asia, takes a look at some of the most common concerns about the vaccine and provides answers that are scientific, compassionate and illuminating. I would like to address the issue of risks of certain harmful side effects associated with COVID-19 vaccination. In particular, the issue of blood clots that have been associated with some of the vaccines. I'll use a simple example to frame the relative risk of dying from vaccine-related blood clots or dying from COVID-19. Assume you have two groups, group A and group B, and each group contains 10 million people. You're further told that over the next two months, three random members of group A are going to die and 200,000 members of group B are going to die. You're then asked to join either group A or group B. Which group would you choose to join? For those who need a hint, group A is the vaccinated group. So any belief that you're somehow better off taking your chances with COVID-19 is catastrophically illogical. Furthermore, it is important to remember that even if you survive COVID-19, a large number of people will end up with loss of work and or serious long-term health complications, including things like permanent lung damage, kidney damage, heart attacks, strokes, and even brain damage. It is important to remember that almost no one who gets the COVID-19 vaccine gets seriously ill or dies. The vaccines are too small to carry any kind of microchip. That very suggestion is absolutely absurd. The vaccines cannot change your body's DNA because they do not enter the nucleus of your cells and they only contain a very limited set of instructions for helping your body to make certain proteins that prepare your body to fight off the COVID-19 virus more effectively and thereby not require hospitalization or not dying from COVID-19. On the contrary, it is the coronavirus that messes with your DNA. That is how it reproduces and survives. This virus has made us, humans, a part of its reproductive cycle. Getting vaccinated is about saving yourself and by so doing, saving others. The more people who get vaccinated, the more we protect those who cannot receive the vaccinations, such as children. It is a priority that everybody who's eligible for a vaccination gets it as quickly as possible. In their conclusion, the authors of the South African survey said that even where there was a willingness to vaccinate, it was not unqualified. Even those who indicated that they would probably take the vaccine more often expressed some doubts or uncertainties about vaccination. Yaku Tobias for CII Radio News.